Whitney B. So I'm here with another video today. And today's video, I'm going to give my personal review on a few different sewing machines that I have or that I have used. Um, I get a lot of questions about the best sewing machine for making wigs. And I just wanted to come to you today and just give you my opinion and my review on two different types of sewing machines. Um, I do have them both here with me today. They are both Sanger machines. Now, Sanger is the only uh, machine brand that I have used. Um, I know there's a lot of different um, brands out there. So, uh, my review is just basically based on these two machines. I have the Sanger Heavy Duty and the singer tradition and um i'll leave all the description of um these both both of these sewing machines in the description box below but before we get started in this video i want you to make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel i um create a lot of different videos a lot of helpful videos for um, people that like to wear wigs or people that are trying to start up their own wig business or hair business or people that just like to um, learn about weaves and wigs and fashion. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll leave all the information as far as the details of these two sewing machines in the description box below. Um, so I do have a few notes here that I did make just so, um, you know, for my own personal use um and let's just jump right in so the first machine we'll we will talk about is this singer tradition now this was the very first machine that i purchased when i first um learn how to sew using the sewing machine previously before using the sewing machine i did sew by hand um and i will say learning to sew on a sewing machine it changed my life. It changed my business life. Like it, it changed everything for the better. My hands wasn't hurting as much. My back wasn't hurting. I was able to get like more wigs created in a day um, using the sewing machine. Um, so this singer tradition, this I did purchase this from Amazon. I believe this was about 160 bucks. Um, so fairly cheap for a, a sewing machine. Now, um, I'm going to start out with the pros of the Sanger Tradition. Um, so like I said, it is cheaper. It is about 160 Sewing machines can get very, very pricey. Like I've seen sewing machines. There's a sewing machine that I actually really, really want. And it's $2,500. <laughs> so... Um, sewing machines can get very expensive. Now, this uh, Sanger Tradition sewing machine, um, it was $160, so a fairly good price. Uh, I did purchase this on Amazon, and um, it just, it looks like most sewing machines. It's very basic. Um, it's definitely beginner friendly. Um, when I first learned how to work this machine, first I had to learn how to like thread it and learn the different compartments and i learned that myself basically just by looking on youtube um it comes with all the materials that you will need uh as far as like uh, if you have any issues there is if you happen to break your little lever thing um there's a new one you have a little brush to clean off your machine you have bobbins you have needles so it definitely comes with everything you need as far as if you uh everything you will need for your machine now it, it like i said it's very beginner friendly um it's definitely great for like lightweight fabrics if you're using very thin fabrics it's definitely um good for that and it's definitely i found it very helpful i travel 
a lot so it is very compact and convenient it fits perfectly in a suitcase so if you are someone that travels if you like to take your machine with you like sometimes i like to sew at home sometimes i like to sew at my shop so it's very um easy to you know pack up and take with you it does come with a little travel bag that you can use so that is the pros um and so we're gonna jump into the cons the cons that I found on this machine, of course, it's not great for very thick fabric. So when you start sewing, so when I first began sewing, I did sew a single track at a time. This worked well, it worked great for that. However, um, as I got a little bit more advanced and learned a little bit more, I began to want to double my tracks. Now, when you're doubling your tracks, it's definitely, it creates it's thicker so you can double your tracks just fine on this machine but when it comes to putting um your double tracks onto your wig cap this machine doesn't work very well um oftentimes you will find that it jams i tried to even change out the needle to a heavy duty needle and it still jammed so um, that's one con that I that I didn't like. Like, like I said, it's definitely beginner friendly. And if you are one that likes to do single tracks, you are just fine. But like me, I like to double my tracks. I like to um, all my tracks on my wigs. All my tracks are double just to create a fuller look. You definitely can get a full look with single tracks, but it's definitely um, just a little bit more time consuming. Um, another thing that I found that was a con it's a bit harder to like say if you have issues and you have to uh take this off like it's a little bit harder to get down in there to if you have any troubleshooting issues i found it to be a little bit harder uh to work with as far as like troubleshooting because it's a lot of screws and bolts and things that you have to take apart um when trying to figure out like what's going on so that is pretty much the only, you know, cons I would have about this uh, Sanger. So if you are a beginner wig maker, this is def definitely great. But I would definitely suggest um, as you, if you are someone that wants to begin like doubling your tracks and working with different type of wig caps, some caps may be thicker than others. Um, I would definitely suggest that you move on to something like a heavy duty machine because um, you will probably realize that you're having trouble. I did, I actually timed myself working with both of the machines and it took me about an hour to make one wig versus about 30 minutes on this machine. Just because I was having a lot of jamming, the um, the material that I was using, the wig cap was a little too thick for this machine. Um, and like I said, I doubled my tracks. So that made it a little harder um, to maneuver uh, as far as, you know, sewing on this machine. So we're gonna set this to the side. And we'll jump into the heavy duty. Um, so this machine is my fave, fave. I do see a lot of people, um, especially a lot of wig makers using this heavy duty machine. Now, there are a few that I see using this machine, but for the most part, most people who are uh, wig makers, they use this machine. Now, and you can see it is a little bigger than the Singer Tradition. Um, just a little bit, but it's definitely, once you pick them both up, this is heavier. Um, so this is the Singer Heavy Duty um, Machine. This, I purchased this from Amazon as well. This one was about, don't don't quote me on these prices. I would say it was about two sixty something around that. I will um, definitely put the exact price in the description box and the link to this machine in the description box below. But this um, was a bit more expensive. Um, so if you are someone that is a beginner, I would suggest purchasing. Um, you know the Sanger tradition first if you um you know kind of are uh trying to save money i would suggest 
purchasing the singer tradition first and it's okay to have more than one um machine because you never know what may be going on something may be going wrong with this machine that you can't fix so you can resort to this or vice versa uh so this um heavy duty machine i'll just start with the pros so the pros is that it's called heavy duty for a reason it's perfect for tough fabric i have no trouble as far as like doubling my tracks sewing my double tracks onto my cap excuse me no problem at all uh, i found that this machine actually um like the needle as it goes it seems like it's much faster than this one this one seems a little slow and i know you can you know you control it with your foot however it still seems like this machine does you know move a lot faster um the heavy duty machine i found it a little easier and it just may be my you know it just may be me but when i was threading the bobbins it seemed to be a little easier on the heavy duty machine versus the tradition for whatever reason like i said it could be something with me i'm not sure um it's definitely a little more easier to break apart like if i have to go in and do something with the bobbin it's all right here so it's all right here versus the tradition it's kind of it's under here and then you have to go in and pull this out like it's just a lot versus being able to see right down in there you know if there there's fabric or something caught in your machine you could just look down versus you know it's a little bit harder to see up in here versus you know right on top um and it's, a, oops, excuse me. it's easier to break down this machine i feel um so let's get into the cons so of course as i stated in the beginning this one is a bit more expensive however i feel it's worth it it's a great investment um if you are someone that is like i said a bit more advanced in wig making and you are beginning to double your tracks or use different type of wig caps and things like that this is really great and it's a great investment um another con that i found is that this kind it kind of shakes it has a little bit of shake it's much louder versus the tradition which um it's heavy duty so that was something that is not you know out of the ordinary it's kind of expected that this one would be a lot louder i do find it that is louder when i am working on like really thick fabric and things like that so um that's a bit i wouldn't say it's a con but some might people might find it um you know as a con kind of annoying or things like that that it shakes and that it is can be kind of loud at times so um i would say that's about all the cons and pros that i have versus these two machines i would definitely suggest this Sanger heavy duty machine when making wigs um it can be beginner friendly as well but if you're on a budget and just trying to get started in in the wig game or making wigs i would definitely suggest just get started out with the tradition it will work fine but eventually you want to move on to the heavy duty now like i said there are many many other machines out there that work very well for making wigs um there is an industrial machine that is great for making wigs which that's something that i haven't saved up enough money to get yet like i said the one i seen was about twenty five hundred dollars so a little bit out of my budget right at the moment but that's definitely something that i feel like that i will invest in as my business um continues to grow um the industrial machine it's um shaped in like a circle so where you can kind of just glide your cap over that circle and it's, it seems much much easier i've watched plenty of videos on that 
but for now i'll stick with my heavy heavy duty it's working great for me like i love it it's my best friend but you know it's it's great to have two machines maybe three four machines because you never know you may want to like one machine i keep at home and this machine i keep at my shop that way i don't have to like go back and forth I know I have a machine there. I know I have a machine here. As well as, like I said, if something happens to one machine, I can always resort to the next machine. So, um, like I said, I'll leave the description of both machines in the description box below, as well as the link to these machines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informational and helpful for you guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel i'll leave my instagram below that way you can go to my page i have plenty of helpful videos hair videos hair tutorials little tips and tricks um for wig makers and people that wear wigs so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later